guys, today I am back to fill my empties for the month. Um, I managed to fill it, fill up a Ulta bag this month, so I have quite a few, um, and I have somewhere I have to be in about 20 minutes, so this is probably going to be a pretty quick video, or at least I'm going to try to make it pretty quick. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. Of course, as per usual, I finished my number seven quick thinking, uh, Oh, beautiful skin quick thinking wipes. I'm like, I know it's got the word beautiful in it. So, finish those, love those, repurchase them as always. Um, I finished a Batiste Fruity and Cheeky Cherry Dry Shampoo. I don't know why, but my Ulta had these on clearance for a little while, and I thought that they were discontinuing this scent. But, um, now they're full price again. So I don't know if for some reason they discontinued like clearance out a certain batch of them or something like that but um I bought one of these and I really do like the fruity and cheeky cherry scent it's a little strong though so that's probably my only complaint is it's just a little little strong um finished up a bath and body works velvet sugar shower gel I love the velvet sugar line but this one I just was like I don't know I just was sick of it by the time we got to to the end of it so I was kind of glad to finish it I would repurchase it again but in a smaller size just the big ones I get too sick of the scent by the time I get close to finishing them I finished up this Aveeno nourish and dandruff control um, shampoo this is pretty good this is I think one of my favorite dandruff shampoos I have had problem with dandruff a lot in the last like six months to a year I would say um, and this is actually pretty nice. Plus, I believe that this is like sulfate free or something like that. So it kind of helps with color a little bit if you're worried about having like sulfates and stuff in it. This is actually a pretty good one. So I would look at that one if you're interested in it. Um, I used up this, I'm probably going to pronounce this totally wrong, but Bain de Tierre Keratin Phyto Protein 5 in 1 Cleansing Conditioner. I, of course, did not use it as a cleansing conditioner because I do not like cleansing conditioners, but I did use this just as like a deep conditioner because it says that it can be used as a conditioner, deep conditioner, detangle, or shine treatment in one. It also says it's a cleanser, but I didn't use it for that, so I just mostly used it as a conditioner. It was okay. Um, I don't remember it being anything super special. It does have argan and minoy oils in it, which I think is kind of nice, but yeah, it was okay. Probably not going to repurchase it. I used up a Chanel Coco Mademoiselle perfume sample. I don't like this. It smells like, oh, sorry, it smells like old lady perfume to me. I just don't like it. I mean, that's kind of what I think of Chanel. I think of, like, classy older women, I guess. Like, is that weird? That might be a little weird. But that's what I think of. Um, then I also finished up a Hello Harvey Prince fragrance sample. This I got out of Birch Box. Um, this one I actually kind of liked. I don't think I like it enough that I'd repurchase it, but it wasn't bad. Um, it's got kind of a citrusy scent. Citrus, citrusy, like flowery scent. So that one wasn't too bad. I finished up my beloved Philosophy Purity Cleanser. Um, I do need to repurchase one of these, but I'm kind of waiting to see if Philosophy will do like five times the points at Ulta. They usually do, um, but they haven't done it for a while, so I'm kind of waiting to see. Um, I used up a Nip and Fab Glycolic Scrub Fix. Scrub? I want this facial polish, but scrub. Um, my boyfriend actually really, really liked this, so I repurchased this already. It's one of my favorite, like weekly exfoliators but I only use it on my face I haven't tried it you know before like sunless tanning or anything I've only ever used it on my face and I don't know I just really like that one I feel like it makes my skin very very soft so finished up a snow kissed berry hand sanitizer um this one was pretty good I, I just it's a forgettable scent was kind of the problem yeah it's just kind of a vanilla berry scented product. It didn't have like a super strong scent and it wasn't anything super special. So I don't know if I'd purchase that one again. Um, I finished up this number four volumizing shampoo. This was another birch box sample. This I actually really, really liked. I got about two or three uses out of it and I really, really liked this. My hair was 
big. Um, I was really surprised that just a volumizing shampoo could make that much of a difference in it, but that combined with the Living Proof Primer, my hair was just huge. It was really nice because it was very soft and healthy, but it was big and voluminous. So um, I finished up this Wish, Wish Shave Cream in Blueberry. This is like heaven. This is so good. Like, I am in love with this. Oh, I just want to keep it just to smell it because it smells that good. Um, sadly, Ulta does carry Wish, but they don't carry the blueberry fragrance, at least at my store. But I am going to try to purchase, I think, the pomegranate shave cream next just to see if I like it. I'm going to test it out because I think as a shave cream, it's okay. Um, but I didn't really try it, like, on my legs or anything too much. I just mostly did, like, my underarms and stuff. So I'm just kind of like, yeah, it worked fine on my underarms, but I don't know how it would work on my legs. Just because it was kind of a small sample. Um, I wish it was like full to the brim, but it wasn't. It was maybe like half full. So I want to try it out more, but it's supposed to decrease hair growth, I believe, as you use it. Another thing that's kind of nice about Wish is they're like paraben free, sulfate free, DEA and TEA free, petrochemical free, naturally sourced and in organic ingredients. So that's kind of nice if you're more looking for something a little bit more natural. That is kind of a nice option. I finished up this beauty protector, protect and oil. This was okay. Um, the first couple times I used it, I feel like I didn't notice any difference. And then the last couple times I used it, my hair was really, really soft. There is a little bit of oil in there and I've tried to get it out, but I, for whatever reason, just cannot get it out. Um, I've tipped the bottle upside down and I don't know, I just wasn't able to get any more out. So I finished that. Uh, I don't know if I'd repurchase it though, just because there's other oils I like better. So, I also finished the Rimmel Stay Matte. I'm probably not going to purchase this again, just because it's an okay powder. There's nothing wrong with it, but there are other drugstore powders I like a little bit better. This is a good, you know, option, but it's just not my favorite. So, there's that. Um, I finished up my Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer actually today. Today's like the last time I used it. This I love and adore and have already repurchased, and I've repurchased it several times, so there's that. I finished up this Paul Mitchell Apui Wild Ginger Keratin Intensive Treatment. This I felt like did nothing for my hair. Um, maybe because it's a keratin intensive treatment, I, you know, it didn't make my hair feel super soft or anything like that. And usually most, like, keratin shampoo conditioners aren't typically gonna make your hair feel soft because it's putting protein into your hair. Moisture is usually what makes your hair feel a little softer, but I wouldn't say that that's always true because I have used the Redken Extreme Shampoo and Conditioner, which is the protein-based one, and my hair has been super soft lately. So that's not always true, but this just, it my hair didn't feel soft, it didn't feel detangled, it just felt like my hair normally feels. Um, it almost actually felt like I just skipped conditioner completely, but this was supposed to be like a weekly deep conditioner. Eh, I got a couple of uses out of it and I'm not going to repurchase it, so. Um, next I finished this Ocean for Men hand sanitizer. This I actually liked and so did the boys in my house. Um, it's got just kind of like an axe smell to it, so if you like axe you'll probably like that one. But I thought it smelled pretty good, so. And lastly, this I really wanted to take a minute to talk about. It's the Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Peel. And this is like the box that came in. This is what we actually got from Birchbox as the sample. Um, I was terrified to try this because it says, This is not a mask. Cleanse skin and leave slightly damp. Spread gel thinly and quickly over forehead cheeks, chin, neck, and decolletage, decolletage, decollete, decollete, I feel like that sounds more right. <laughs> um, quickly begin massaging these areas in a circular motion with slightly damp hands. After 15 to 20 seconds, solid, solid should form under the fingertips. This means the peel is activating correctly as the gel is now combining with your dead skin slash proteins. And then it says massage for two or three minutes until all this gel has combined with dead skin. And then you cleanse again and you are done. 
So this was literally a peel and that scared me so bad because I've never really used a peel. Um, I think they're great and they sound like a great concept, but I just I get kind of scared of them. Um, just because I imagine like a sunburn on my face, like my skin just peeling like consistently all week. But this was actually just amazing. Just so great. I would actually consider repurchasing, repurchasing this. Um, I kind of took some time out at work to see if I could find something similar. I found that Peter Thomas Roth has a peeling gel and it's basically the same thing. Um, and it works probably just as well, but it makes your skin very soft and I felt like I was just literally glowing. It was so, it was great. It was really, really great. Which is probably why it's called the Luminous 3 Minute Peel because it does make you just glow. So this I would repurchase and I sort of have. I got the Peter Thomas Roth version which is pretty good, so. And that is it for my empties. Um, it is laid all out in front of me so it looks like quite a lot and it felt like quite a lot. Um, I didn't finish a ton of makeup-y things but finished a lot of hair and skin stuff and I'm okay with that because I definitely have just as much stuff of that as I do makeup. So I'm kind of happy to clean up my collection a lot and feel like I made some progress this month. Um, most of the stuff's pretty good. Some of it is a little hmm, disappointing but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!